Hey, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Leo for the week starting the 30th of July. Now, this week, there is a full moon on the 2nd and it's lighting up your fabulous relationship zone. It's in your seventh house. So you are feeling quite positive emotionally about relationships. You're shining and you're glowing and you're able to feel things very deeply. I mean, you might be a little bit over emotional. I wouldn't watch any Lassie films because you, you could sort of weep and, and, and express your emotions to anything this week. Now, there are two grand trines this week. Grand trines are all about us tuning in, plugging into the wisdom of the universe. And in this case, it's to be a little bit objective and to be forward thinking and to allow enlightenment to shine through. For you, Venus, the planet of love is in the 11th house of friendship still. This love, friendship, love, friendship thing that's been going on for some months and it's trining Mars in the third and trining moon in the seventh. You're emotional, you're excited, you love your friends this week. You, you love communicating with people and other people love communicating with you and you're talking about some really interesting and fascinating ideas. Now, as a Mars is, is there, you might be feeling a little bit forthright about your ideas. Remember, you are not your ideas and nor are other people. These are just things that come through us and don't necessarily stick often in life you know, ideas that you were passionate about 10, 15 years ago, five years, depending on how old you are, you may have a completely different idea now. We are just a conduit for ideas. They're not necessarily what our soul is. 10 lifetimes ago, you probably had very different ideas. Now, on August the 3rd, the Grand Air Trine with Saturn in the 3rd, Trine Moon in the 7th, Trine Venus in the 11th, is more of that energy. But on the 4th, we have Neptune, the planet of spiritual awakening, and Chiron, the wounded healer, and the moon conjunct in your eighth house starts to get very intense then and quite primal. You might be feeling something. You might suddenly observe someone in your life and see their shadow side or see their primal side or see a side to them that you don't necessarily like. You may suddenly have x-ray vision and look into the hearts of others and see their hopes and fears, their desires, their jealousy, their lust or their fear. But bear in mind, it's important to turn those x-ray glasses onto yourself and look at what's maybe what are you feeling primarily what are your darkest deepest secrets and how can you shine a light on them and transform them how can they be the fertilizer for your soul this week has many intriguing twists and turns take care and i'll speak to you soon